so students are we all set for the next video so what are we going to learn today basically what we are going to study today is the different components of food now we have studied earlier also that food is very very important for us for our survival because it gives us energy it keeps our body fit and healthy and it also saves us from all the diseases now how is this possible now whatever food we are eating basically it has got certain nutrients now by nutrients what do we understand so basically we understand that the nutrients are those components of the food which are very very important for our different activities for giving us energy for growth and repair of the body now the five main components which we call the nutrients they are basically the proteins the carbohydrates the fats the vitamins and minerals now addition to all these we have roughage which is also known as the dietary fiber and we have water now the roughage as such is not something which is helping in the digestion but it definitely helps in removing what is not digested in our body in our bowel movement and water we all know it helps in the absorption of the various nutrients from the food and we also know that there is blood in the body and that is also in the fluid form so water is very very important for our body if you remember children when your stomach is little upset then what does mama tell you she tells you have lots of water have lots of fluids because water is very important for our body and it helps in keeping your body fit healthy and hydrated so to avoid the dehydration we are supposed to take lots and lots of water and even in the summer season we are supposed to have so many fluids have water have juices and so on now coming to the next basically what we need to understand is that what are the other type of the nutrients which are very very important for our body the first is the proteins now the proteins are also known as the body building foods because they help in the repair of the body in maintaining the body tissues and also in case there are dead tissues the formation of the new tissues now as children we need to take a diet which is very much rich in proteins why because we are growing so for growth we need proteins we are supposed to eat eggs we are supposed to eat meat we are supposed to eat milk products like paneer like cottage cheese or the processed cheese or whichever so basically the milk and milk products are very rich in proteins milk we need to remember is a wholesome diet as it is the only thing that it does not have is the iron that is why we say that milk is a complete food but in case you have some food which is having the iron content then for example a apple then definitely that one apple along with the milk will be a wholesome meal for you now we need to remember that the protein like i told you is the body building food it helps in the growth of the body it helps in the repair of the wear and tear cells and tissues of your body same way the other nutrients like the carbohydrates are very very important so in case your diet is not having the proteins and the carbohydrates your complete growth can be stunted it can be stopped same way now we need to remember that the carbohydrates and fats are known as the energy giving foods why because they give us lots and lots of energy but just remember that fat gives us double the amount of energy as compared to the carbohydrates so carbohydrates give us around 4 calories per gram of the food that we take so basically this is what we need to remember whereas vitamins and minerals they are very very important in case you want to maintain a healthy body now over a long period of time if our food is not complete if we are not taking a properly balanced diet or balanced meals then what will happen we will start developing deficiency diseases so same way there are certain deficiency diseases which are caused in case we are not taking the proper amount of the vitamins which are required by the body now there are different kinds of vitamins which are there in the food that we are taking there is vitamin a there is vitamin b complex because it is made up of many kinds of vitamins like vitamin b1 vitamin b6 b12 and so on and then we have vitamin c we have vitamin d we have vitamin e and vitamin k so these are the different type of vitamins and in case they are deficient in our diet then we will have the corresponding deficiency diseases 
Same with the minerals. Remember children, M for minerals and M for maintenance. So, the minerals as the name indicates, as I have told you, M for M, they help in the maintenance of your body and keeping it healthy. So, we need to remember that the meal that we are taking should be a balanced meal. It should have all the nutrients in the required amount. Then it is a balanced meal. And we are taking three meals in a day. So, basically, these three meals over the period of the day or at the end of the day, if they are balanced, naturally, we end up having a balanced diet. Now, what we need to remember is that the combination or the composition of the nutrients which is there in our food that has to be taken care of you can't be taking in you know only fats or you can't be taking in only carbohydrates or proteins so that will create a kind of an imbalance in your body if you're having only fats what will happen you will become fat you will become obese and the disease is known as obesity same way like i told you earlier without proteins and without carbohydrates in your diet what will happen your growth will be stunted you will not grow properly same way there are vitamins like vitamin a which are important for the healthy eyes for your healthy skin and on the other hand the vitamin c is very important for fighting against the diseases this is what we call immunity so what is immunity it is our resistance of the body to fight diseases or to ward away the diseases to keep them at bay now what we need to remember that sometimes we have to take proper vitamin D. They say go in the sun, take more of vitamin D. The reason is that vitamin D is helping our body to absorb the calcium. Now calcium is very very important for the proper development of your bones, of your teeth and keeping your body strong. So these are certain things which we need to remember about the food and how nutritional it should be, what all nutrients are important for the food. So all these things we need to keep in mind when we are eating our food. So children, here there is a table which will give you a clear idea of what all vitamins are there in the food that we take or should be there. And in case they are not there, then they can cause certain problems. They can cause certain deficiency diseases in our body. So in case we want to remain healthy, in case we don't want to get these diseases, so we need to take all these vitamins. So now let's see the table and understand what vitamin contributes to what function in our body. Basically, we need to remember that in case we are not having the proper food, we can end up having certain deficiency diseases or disorders. And here is a table showing you what all deficiency diseases we have in case we have the deficiency of the following vitamins and minerals. So deficiency disease due to the vitamin A deficiency is night blindness or the loss of vision and the symptoms are that we will not be able to see properly that is poor vision and loss of vision in the darkness or at the night time and sometimes we may end up having a complete loss of vision. Now there is another disease which is caused due to the deficiency of the vitamin B1 and the disease is known as beriberi. The symptoms of this disease are that our muscles, they become weak and we have got very little energy to do work. The deficiency disease which is caused due to the deficiency or eating less of vitamin C is scurvy as a result of which our immunity becomes very low. We cannot find the, fight the diseases and in addition we have bleeding gums and our wounds they will take longer time to heal. Now there is a deficiency disease which is caused due to the deficiency of vitamin D and the disease is known as the rickets. So bones they become very soft and bent in this case and we can also say that these people generally end up having the bow legs. Now there are certain minerals which are very important for the proper maintenance of a body such as calcium, iron and so on. So in case there is a deficiency of calcium then we will end up having the bone and tooth decay problem in which our bones will be very weak and we can also have the decayed tooth. Now another is the deficiency disease which is caused due to the deficiency of iodine and that is goiter. So just remember G for goiter and G for the glands in the neck or you can say gala that is jaw ke gale ke andar mein glands hain unki swelling ho jati hai and the disease is known as goiter. So, glands in the neck, they appear swollen and mental disability in children. Now, in case you have a deficiency of iron, then you will end up having anemia as a result of which there will be general weakness in your body and you will not be very active and 
because of the less hemoglobin because less oxygen is reaching your body which is very very important for your maintenance of the body and also for your proper existence and survival so children we need to remember that we need to take proper food and certain sources of the food are for example for proteins just remember anything which is making your muscle should come from the muscle like the meat and for muscle and for meat and eggs and milk sources same way carbohydrates basically c for carbohydrates and c for cereals so cereals are a rich source of carbohydrates then fats whatever makes you fats has fats and so we can say that it is generally the fats and the oils or like your you know uh, you're having fried food so that will be very rich in fats and oils and now lastly we come to the vitamins and minerals so this is a double word vitamins and minerals so v for vitamins and v for vegetables so remember it like this that the fresh leafy vegetables and fruits give you vitamins and these are the sources for minerals as well so i hope this table has now clarified what all can happen in case your food is not balanced so now children, I am sure you must have understood how important a balanced meal is and how important all these meals, they make our balanced diet. And this all we need to keep in our mind whenever we are eating food and excess of everything is bad. So remember that we should avoid taking excess of fats or oils or proteins or carbohydrates. Take them in the required amount. Take them as they are required by the body to keep it fit. So I hope you like the video. So do hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so. Thank you so much children.